game shows have been around as long as your grandmother, most likely. Winner take all, with our winner take all, Quizmaster Bill Collins. Thank you. You know, you would turn on the TV, you would watch a few game shows here and there, you know, just for fun. You know, I would always do that with my grandma. I would go to her house like once a week and we would just watch game shows on GSN, Game Show Network. Shows like Chain Reaction, The $25,000 Pyramid, Family Feud, a family classic, as they say. And currently, thanks to the internet, a lot of things are possible, including internet game shows. There is one new internet game show called Hive Mind, which is hosted by Ludwig and Critical. Hello and welcome to Hive Mind, a game show Ludwig and I have been dreaming about for months. It is a game show where the Hive Mind is the viewer. Hi, get it? Cause it's the name of the game show. So now you're taking this concept that was, oh, you know, I'm sitting at the TV and I'm watching this thing, right? And I can only talk with the people in my vicinity, right? And I can't actually give answers. But with Hive Mind specifically, you can actually give your own answers and have literal live interaction with the game show because what you say and your choices actually matter, both with the contestants and the viewers. What's great about this game show is that contestants literally can't cheat. Why? Because the whole premise is that the viewers give their specific answers to this show. So when they pool the answers, right, the top answers will actually be on the board. So once the show pools together all of the possible answers, they will take the top eight, I believe. It's top six, you idiot. And then the players have to guess those specific answers. In this game show, contestants encourage the viewers to participate and vice versa because they're actually helping each other. I remember one episode where this one girl and this and her community community and her mods were like arguing over the answer because you know everybody was trying to say oh this is the obvious answer but when you have thousands of people in one live chat room obviously you're gonna get a bunch of different answers there are plenty of internet personalities that have appeared in the show already and will appear in the future I see the similarities between this show and like a TV show game show because both of these are now posted once a week you know you got your TV game show where you like tune in on Monday nights and you're like oh you gonna watch Family Feud and then you tune in on Twitch or on YouTube or whatever, and there you go, new episode right there. Overall, it's just very entertaining, and there are so many memorable moments in it, especially when the hosts interact with the contestants. It's funny on occasion, you know, I love the dynamic between Charlie and Ludwig. The dynamic is wonderful, entertaining, and humorous. Between the contestants is also funny. I'm concerned you are going to cheat. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? You are a robot. You are okay. in the neural network. You're tapped into the mainframe. I don't know. It's just feels. I'm not a robot. What do you okay. mean? On the technical side of the game show, the motion graphics are professional yet fun. When I watch it, I feel like I'm watching some professional game show on TV, but it's not on TV, it's on the internet, it's on my computer right there. Each contestant has their own color, the transitions are sleek, the music is upbeat, and it gives me that feeling of watching one of those old TV shows, but it's not, it's a modern day game show. Hive Mind just shows that a very specific medium can build upon itself using modern day functionalities of technology, especially when you have people on the internet make their own high budget game shows. Back in the day, you really couldn't get on a game show unless you know you were lucky or in LA or both and now thanks to the internet literal strangers can literally participate in game shows and they don't have to leave their home it is just so incredible how technology has changed us for the better this is one way that proves that this whole situation just makes me think about like of how we've changed over the years for the better sometimes it's for the better Sometimes it's not, but in this situation, it was definitely for the better. You learn what you've learned in the past, and then you better yourself in the present. And I think that's what we can take from this situation. It's like, yeah, stuff happened in the past. You know, we got these old game shows. Some of them still going on, some of them aren't. But then you got the current day self, the current day technology, where it's like, oh, we've learned from our mistakes. I'm not saying <laughs> TV game shows were a mistake. I'm just saying that like, hey, we're learning from past experiences and bettering ourselves. And I think that is very important how we should always better ourselves in our life, no matter where we are and no matter where we came from.